yeah, what were your you know, takeaways from the first scrimmage? No, we did a lot of good things. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well, um, but we did a lot of good things uh, from, from that standpoint. Our freshmen played really good. Um, they worked their minutes really well um, defensively. Uh, it was a good team to play. They did a lot of, uh, a lot of cutting. Uh, they played a lot of zones. So I think teams, you know, that, that we play guarding us man to man. Um, that's probably one of our strong suits, playing man to man. So getting working against the zone was really good for us, and I think it'll be beneficial to us as the, as the season starts. But overall, did some really good things. What are what are your takeaways, or, or <clears throat> I guess, what do you think the freshmen have shown the most improvements in uh, from the start of the first start of the official practices through now? I mean, just picking up the information, pick, picking up um, things from the summer. Obviously, I think we, we know it all, but then being able to. Um, carry it over into the games. I mean, that's that's the biggest thing. That's not just a freshman thing. That's a that's a basketball thing. And um, you know, even our older players have lapses, and it's just about continuing to to get on them and continuing to, to get the reps until you know all of those things just become come natural. And I think that they're uh, they're definitely getting better at it. Um, I, I, I I think they're probably our most talented group. Just. Um, just, just sheer talent. I mean, obviously they don't have the understanding and know-how and um, development that um, some of our older guys guys have. But I think if the, our, our younger guys develop at the same pace that, that these guys have, we got a chance to be uh, really special in, in the future. You know, along with the you know the other class that we got coming in next year. So I'm, I'm excited about our future. But right now, it's, it's good to have some interchangeable pieces that can do some different things. Still kind of figuring out. Lineups. Obviously, we're going with our older group right now because they have a better understanding and better grasp. But as the season goes on and, and young players start to emerge, um, you know, you know, we mix our lineup up sometimes. You know, some different times. And I think the key to that is, you know, just holding them accountable defensively. You know, maybe the the starters are the guys that grade out the best. You know, on a game to game basis. I mean, I just think we just have that much balance and that much parity within our lineup, you know, just from a talent standpoint. So it doesn't really matter who starts the game. It's more about who finishes the game. Do you think, uh, so Malik Dia, I guess, <coughs> comes in as, like, a lot of people see him as a power forward. Do you think he can play some five for you this year? Yeah, I definitely think he could play some five for us. I mean, he's, he's probably a, our biggest guy. I mean, he might even be bigger than Liam. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's still, still growing. Um, he has a skill set of more of a small forward, but he can post. Um, uh, he can, you know, space out the three. I mean, he, you know, I think Jordan Wright was, we were talking the other day, and he, and he said to me, like, I think Malik D is probably the most talented player that we've had here since we've been here. So I think that's a, that's a big statement from, from, from one of our, you know, from our upperclassmen, our, our leader. I mean, just from his, does he, um, does he have a lot of room to grow? You know, and do some different things on you know on both ends of the floor. You know, just just learning to, to share the floor with other good players. He's always been the best player on the teams that he played, and now he's got to learn to share the floor with other good players. So that's a little bit of a challenge within himself. Doing the things that we want to do on the defensive end is you know is a challenge for him. But he's capable, and, and, and he's gotten better, and he's shown a, a willingness to, um, to to get better on that side of the ball as well. But just natural talent, uh, he's. He has a chance to be, you know, a special player for us for sure. How do you evaluate where your team's offense is at right now? Well, I think our offense is, you know, probably our strong suit. When you got six guys that's been, you know, in the program for three years, then I think offensively you should uh, be. Uh, that doesn't always mean that you make shots. I, mean, I think that's the case. I think, you know, we we probably got. Um, you know, 20, 20 more shots on goal than in the scrimmage. <laughs> but again, it's just a matter of making shots. And I think, you know, we had, we had great looks and had great you know, opportunities. So I just think con continuing to uh, get in the gym and work. And, and, and I kind of sensed that even before we played the scrimmage that uh, like in our workouts and our practices, guys were probably maybe just kind of hitting a little bit of a wall. And I'm, and I'm glad that they kind of getting that out of the system. You know, we try to be smart about how we, you know, manage these next a uh, week or so going into to the first game because we want to be want to be fresh. You want to have fresh legs, but you know, our, our offense is, you know, normally gets better as the year goes on. But now that we've had, you know, some kind of seasoned guys, I'm looking for us to come off and be a, a, a lot more fluid 
at the beginning of the season and probably whatever we probably than we've ever been in the past. That's what I'm hoping for, you know. That's, and, uh, but it's, it's always, uh, you know, just that you know, issue of sometimes possibly, you know, guys, you know, not not stepping in with with, with the confidence. But we we got a really confident group, so I'm uh, I'm sure that. You know, we're going to have nights where we don't shoot the ball as well as we'd like to, but that's why we, we consider ourselves a defensive team. You know, we want to hang our hat on being able to, to stop people and, and making it tough on them. And then we figure that we'll make, a, we'll, we'll make enough baskets during the course of the game from, from somebody on our roster to, to, to be able to have enough to win. I guess we, we haven't talked to you since you signed the extension. Was that, you know, an easy choice for you? And when did the conversations, you know, maybe start about, about potentially doing that? Well, no, I was, uh, you know, I think, you know, from just what, what we've been able to, to do and grow over these last three years, um, it's just uh, we want to we want to see it through, and I think uh, we wasn't no, uh, knew that we wanted to be here, um, and uh, I mean, I love Nashville, love you know what we're building here, and I'm I'm a guy that likes to finish what I started, and I feel like we're just getting started, you know, really to to what we ultimately can can accomplish here. Uh, and um, the, the commitment that the university and that you know, our, our athletic department has made to, um, you know, the new practice facility, you know, all those things that we got in the phrase of the things of the new locker room, different uh, upgrades that we're making here at the Memorial, you know, you, we, we really sense that commitment. And, and I think that uh, now we're just ready to take, take that next step. I mean, I think the, as far as the extension, I think it just what we've been able to do compared to you know, everybody got agents, everybody got people that look through numbers and comb through numbers. And when they started combing through those, those numbers, ours is, was as, as good as anybody that took over a situation like, like what we took over. Uh, but more so than that is just uh, the belief from, uh, from Candace and from, you know, uh, Chancellor Deermeyer of, of what we're doing and how we're building it and how we're going about it um, made it sense for us to, to extend it a little bit longer. And, and, my, my family and my staff, we're, we're excited about it, but it doesn't change anything for us. We just come to work every day and continue to try to, to become an NCAA tournament team. And that's, I mean, that's really the goal, not to just get into the NCAA tournament, but really get in and make some noise. And I think we've got, we got an opportunity to, to do that with the, the roster that, that, that we're putting out there this year. How did the game against Memphis come together, and, and what do you think it means to, to be playing such a you know, high-profile game in the season opener? Well, I mean, when you got two former, uh, two former pro athletes who who, who are you know, who played at a high level, who, who's coaching at, at a high level. You know, we, we've been talking about trying to get this game together for for a little while. We, you know, we, you know, thrown out the possibility of doing something with Georgetown, doing something with you know a couple other you know in, you know guys that are, you know Aaron McKee, and we're playing them. Maybe you know doing like a a tournament every year or something. Maybe hosting it here one year, going up to. Georgetown going to, to Memphis. I, mean, I think we, we've thrown that out, but it, it just worked out that the schedule fit for us both year. We were, you know, early game, we wanted a good test. Both teams wanted a good test. Feel like, you know, Memphis is going to be, at the end of the year, the talent that they have, it's going to be acquired one game for us. So, I mean, you know, that, that's what we're preparing for. We're gearing for it, try to build our schedule to when it comes down to the end of the year and they talk about the quality of games that we played and they start talking about net and all those type of things. That's, um, we, we want to be right there, and I think that was, you know, when you start talking about extensions and different things like that, that's what it was. We got better by 40 points every year since we've been here. So we're hoping to jump 40 points again this year, and if we jump 40 points again, that puts us as an NCAA tournament team. So that's the trajectory that, trajectory that we're on, and we want to try to maintain that until we get there, and hopefully when, once we get there, we've built up enough uh, experience that we, where we can stay there. Uh, you know, I mean, compared to when you were at Minnesota, when you were last like fully healthy, how how are you feeling basketball wise? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I'm completely healthy this year. I, I haven't missed a single practice, a workout, anything like that. So I mean, I'm back to full health. Uh, none of those are really concerns for me, or I don't think anyone's concerned about that. So I'm back to where I was health wise, and I shouldn't have any issues. Uh, what do you think, like, you know, I know that the Euro trip for you was, was not super easy basketball-wise. What have you uh, maybe taken strides in? What areas do you think personally since then? 
Uh, I, I think the Euro trip was just good. To, you know, we, we have you know a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys. Um, I just took it as a chance to you know work on what we've been working on in practice. Got, got some good game experience, and then, like I just you know one thing I needed to work on was my shot and my rebounding, and you know just taking care of the ball a little bit better. So I think I've done that, and our team has also tightened up on some things that we noticed in the foreign trip. And I, I think that trip was really is going to be really beneficial for us going into the season. Um, what do you think the see from I guess your whole all the bigs on the team this year? Uh, there's a lot of talent. Um, obviously, you have, we have two freshmen and uh, Lee Dort and Malik Dia, uh, very talented guys. Obviously, they're highly ranked, highly talented out of high school. We're really lucky to have them. Uh, I think Vanderbilt's going to be really, really excited to see what they uh, they produce in this year and the years to come. And obviously, QMB, you know, he's been here a long time. He's a really smart player, really fundamental player. And you know, you ca- you kind of know what he's going to bring, but he's just one of those guys that you need to have out on the floor at all times because of all the good things he does. What do you view as kind of like your role on offense in terms of, um, I guess, playing on the block versus helping space the floor or, or working from the perimeter, basically? Uh, I don't know. I don't really think about having a having a role as far as the offense goes because, like, you know, our our offense is the whole the whole goal is to get you know give up good shots for great shots. So. You know, whatever the game plan is for that night, whether it be maybe I'm starting out on the low block, or maybe like it's a game where they're sagging off, so maybe I get a few pick and pop threes. But uh, I'm just kind of more focused on being a facilitator and just you know doing what's asked of me, so that we can you know get the best shot for our team and win the game. What do you think the defense is right now? Because like if you look at you know how you guys did last year and just you know look at the roster, it seems like you guys could have a really nice season defensively. Uh, I think our, our defense is going to be uh, really impressive this year. I, it starts with uh, Ezra. I mean, he's really talented. He's really fast. He really gets up in the guys, pressures them. Uh, it's something I haven't really seen a whole lot of uh, people be able to handle, or guards that he's gone up against be able to handle just because of how, how aggressive he is and just how you know, fundamentally he is. He doesn't foul. He doesn't, you know, doesn't make any mistakes, really. Uh, so it starts with him, and then obviously you got older guys like Joe Wright, Tyron Lawrence, Miles Studi. And then obviously, like me and Q and stuff, so I think you see a really disciplined team. But it's, we're gonna make people work on defense, and you know, our freshmen also—they've picked up really well on just all our, print, our defensive principles. And you know, they're in the right spot. They're—they're they're getting to the low man. They're getting to the gap. So I, I think it's gonna be really fun to watch all around. And there's not gonna be really any drop off when people come in the game. Yeah, um, it's been really good. Um, I've had the help of my teammates and uh, Stack and all the coaching staff. Um, so it's been an easy transition. Um, getting acquainted to Nashville has been great. Um, the basketball team um, has been really inviting. Um, we have a lot of new players this year, so um, it's been good just like getting acclimated with all those guys. I know at UC Davis you were, you know, the high scorer and, yeah. and the, kind of the primary creator. How do you think your role is going to be different, especially in terms of what Vandy wants from you defensively? Yeah. It sounds like, you know, Coach Stackhouse, every time he comes out here, he's talking about how well you're playing defensively. Yeah, yeah. Um, well. I think uh, my role at Davis was obviously um, big scoring role, um, offensive load and defensive load. I carried a lot, um, but I think here, I think the big difference is um, just fitting into like the team, right? We have really good scores already, Jordan, Miles, and um, guys like that. Um, and I, th- I know I'm still a great scorer too, so um, I'll be able to fit in that way. But um, defensively, I think. Um, uh, that's where like I really show like separation, um, and I love defense. And I loved playing it at Davis. I loved it in high school, um, and just being like a, a energy guy on defense, um, being able to harass the ball. Um, I think that's a, a, a different look that Vandy's going to be able to see this year. Um, like getting that side of a of a player, that's going to be a little different, and um, I think I can bring it and bring a lot of energy. Yeah. What do you think of Paul Lewis yeah. so far? Yeah, Paul's great. Um, I spent a lot of time with Paul. I actually came on my visit with him. Um, so we actually committed at the exact same time. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my guy. Um, he's developing like crazy right now. Um, he's a really good point guard. Um, he's really fast, can shoot it really well, really skilled. Um, and I think uh, the more he just plays this year, um, they are good. Um, the more he plays this year, which he will play, um, He's just going to continue to develop um, and and become like that great player that I know he will be. Um, and yeah, I have high praise for him. He's really good. Um, he's growing every single day. So yeah, I'm excited.
right. So, like, were you guys like in the same meeting with Coach Stackhouse? And you both <laughs> said, we're, "I'm coming." Or like, yeah. That so, um, actually, we were we were both at um, we both came out the, on the visit together, yeah. um, and then um, it was the dinner. I remember me and him had talked about it um, a little bit downstairs. Talked about like we feel like it's a great fit. Um, and so at the dinner, we talked before, right before um, we were talking on the phone, and we were like, "Yeah, let's just both commit." And uh, so it actually happened like. I committed like right there, and then like right after me, he committed. So it was is this, a, where, where was the dinner? It was a uh, bourbon. Not sure. It was a steakhouse. Okay. Yeah. And, like just uh, family there. Or yeah, family. Co coaching staff. Also. Yeah, whole coaching staff. Um, my family, his family. Yeah, it was yeah. it was a good time. It was a cool time. Yeah. You know, Liam Robbins talked about the importance of transition for you guys this year. How do you see your role in that? Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, obviously from last year, had a great point guard, Scotty, um, who I know really well too. Um, I think like the transition this year is just going to be, um, I think defensively, um, how we're going to play defensively. I think this group is, um, we're really active defensively and we have a lot of pieces defensively. Um, and I think like that's going to be able to separate us, just being tough and hard nosed on defense. Um, and that's going to lead to like a lot of transition offense and um, things like that. And so, uh, I mean, I think Liam's going to be a huge part of that because um, all the guards are doing a really good job pressuring, um, playing really good defense. And then Liam down there as a shot blocker is going to be able to clean it all up. So 